Yay, I'm back to playing this. I did an entire 20 minute episode, but then, because I couldn't figure out what to do, I alt-tabbed out and forgot to end the recording, so it crashed the game, One crashed fraps. Shut the fuck up. I am so fucking pissed at this game right now. Um, anyway, I figured out everything to do, so I'm just gonna breeze right through it. First of all, um... No, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted the map. Yeah, I figured out that you just need to do that. And then I need to pick up the conduits. Over here. Yeah, yeah, shut up. One of them is corroded, blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure. Nope, I didn't want that. Crispin, go in there. Because I know what's in there. Crispin, go in there. Crispin, can you go in there? I'm. Yup. This is the one piece I'm missing. And then I need to use this plasma torch on this. Let's see if this works. And in here will be a spark plug. Spoilers! I am so friggin' mad. Is that a spark plug? <sighs> Especially because it was the dumbest thing that I screwed up on. Nothing else here is of any use. Map. Go back to the unique. Inventory. Five segments. <sighs> Time for a little weld. Let's weld them all together. Face away from the screen so you don't gotta animate much. Wow, that was easier. Bring this up. Uh, fuse conduit. Bop. Spark plug. But a bop. And pop. And then I made a joke about let there be light. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna let you listen to them talk. Whew, I thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No, which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case, first tips on the recharge station. What a boy. So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong <laughs> energy source for that. Can you just make one of those, too? I'm just asking. No. But somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor. No man alone knows where it's buried now. Um, I like the soundtrack to this game. Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I like the, the the music in this game reminds me of the ambient music from the first Deus Ex game. All right, well here's the crystal. I'm gonna here's the show you. That is if we had noses. Yes, shut up. I'm talking. I'm going to show you exactly where I screwed up, by the way, and hopefully you'll be on my side and thinking like, oh, that that is pretty kind of dumb. So here's what I have in my inventory. Got putty in <clears throat> the crystal and the cable, and blah, blah, blah. So, what I screwed up on is I go in here. This is engineering. And over here, I find the radio. And I can take this plug. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. Now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. 
And I'm gonna read these. It's Kristen's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here! And an awesome set of tractor treads! I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. And then here's the blueprints I need. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. Yes. The energy... Okay. So now... Hold on, I gotta do this real quick. Come on. Oh. Wow. First the power core, and now a rag. This is not your day. Nope. <clears throat> I gotta do this. Down the ladder. Let's go to the tail wing. And bada bing, bada boom, my rag. Yay, reunited, and it feels so good. Will be just as easy. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, I sneezed. Oh. It took me 20 minutes to figure all this out, by the way. So you didn't miss much, <laughs> other than me ranting and just stumbling around like an idiot. Oh, right. Oh, I figured this out, too. But that's a neat little song. So, here's what I have to do. And I figured all this out up to a certain point. I've got to put the putty on the crystal. And I have to use the... Let's cut a little cable off. I didn't do that before. I just put the plug on this. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from That's a what I of screwed garbage? up on. Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. That was the big screw up. Well, just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. And that's what I really screwed up on. I did not cut this cable. I just put the plug onto the cable. How was I supposed to know I needed to cut it? There we go. Done. Now I did in seven minutes, eight minutes, what I did in twenty. So, um, is it? Oh, yeah. Is that it? Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up? Oh, I don't know. A radioactive rust monster. A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Alright. So what's the first one? Six, five, two... Hold on, let me write all this down. Oh, good old school gaming. I didn't want to go to whatever I just went to. There we go. <clears throat> what the heck is... Hmm. Anyway. I don't like that pencil. <clears throat> there we go. Six, five, two. Eight, one, seven. 608 uh, Okay 671 212 159 Oh, and that's it. Okay. Let's go check these coordinates out in the telescope. Crispin, keep up. Tell us. Go. All right. Six five two. Six five two. Enter. 
Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Okay. 817. 817. Boop. Um, boss? That looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Okay. So there's a robot there. 608. 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. Oh, maybe. Now, 671. I kind of want to go to the giant robot. I've been to the junk pile. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. It's true. Uh, I believe that was 671. So, 212. Pitch black. Uh, boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. One five nine. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Oh, which one to go to? Oh, which one to go to? Okay, uh, let's save, first of all. Save game. I do know now. Save. Let's bring up the map. Let's go to the giant robot, huh? Ooh, HR Geiger would be proud. Or Geiger? Geiger? I don't know. HR Geiger. This is a giant cannibal robot. I'm gonna be so excited. Man's creation. Uh, actually, it does kind of look like a giant cannibal robot. That is one big robot. That it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat, Crispin. Look how he's staring at me. It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. It's corroded. I want it. Anyone home? Anyone home? Is he Anyone knocking? Home? He is. <laughs> Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. I can feel air moving. I can feel... So it's breathing? That is one... Creepy. I doubt that will have any effect. Crispin, go find them out. I can feel... Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> can, can I just toss the rag into his nose? There's no way I can... Ah, <laughs> make him sneeze. Uh, lantern. I doubt that will... No. I can't, I can't reach, and I'd like to get a closer look anyway. Okay, so let's use Crispin to go up there. And then can we use the lantern? I kind of want to... I think I see a giant... Brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. Oh. I think I can. You no. Huh. So we need something a whole lot smaller than Crispin. We're just gonna knock again. Anyone? Well, this place is nifty. I don't think I'm gonna find my power source here, though, because I need something a whole lot smaller than Crispin, and I need, uh... Just count to a thousand, Crispin. He's not going to eat you. You're too fast for him. 
Are you talking to yourself? No. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do. No, I didn't want to hit the mouth. I didn't want to hit the mouth. He's exhaling stuff. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna put the rag down. I doubt that one. Here? No? Okay. I don't know, I feel like the rag, because it showed me it blowing in wind and blah blah blah. Whatever. <sighs> Let's go to the my big old device. Oh, hi! I can't see anything to do with it. Nothing worth sell. What about that big glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Nothing worth sell. I robot friend. Wanderer of the wine wastes. Lost one. Pilgrim. Welcome once more to the shrine to man, our lord and elder. I am ever thankful to your guilt. Steward of the shrine. Preacher of the humanist creed. And I am once more at thy service. Oh. Once more? Once more? I don't remember ever meeting you. I'm Horatio Nullbuild, version 5. Ah, uh, 5 is a righteous number. Holy before man, for five were the primordial stewards, built by man to safeguard the last lost city of Metropol. But I met thy first version and thy third, thou camest in thy infancy in wrath confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, faith endureth. What? 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 I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tame did hide hence unto the waist. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wonder. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. Oh? Dome? I don't want to go there yet. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte, Wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Uh... Answer me these questions three. Oh, way to change your... I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? To build. Uh, man, I think we could, uh, to wonder at man's works on the road to every man to learn wisdom. Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? The first builder. The first builder. Nay, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and twas the word that built the code. Go now and study the teachings of man. Alright. Nay, wanderer, thou art not worthy of this shrine. Well, well, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> uh, the word of man. And thank you, ever anyone and everyone, for watching. This has been mostly a narrative-based episode, other than my rage at the beginning. Anyway, I'll see you next time with more primordium or primordia. I can't remember. Hey, what's your tongue? <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.